guys? How's it going? Yeah. yeah. All right, this is my second day being back in the city. I think it's awesome. I think I need I need to buy a selfie stick just to use it to swat away other people's selfie stick out of the way. <laughs> Jesus, get the fuck out of here. You know, like, talk about an urban jungle. <laughs> Finally, I know what it means. But it's great to be back here. It's good to see my one of my best friends, Roy, over here from Israel. And he's Jewish. <laughs> Dating a German girl. Ah. I don't really get it. Like, don't you remember the Holocaust happened like seven years ago? Yeah. Seven years ago? No, like, haven't the Germans fucked enough Jews? Oh. You're, you're letting this German fuck you now, too? Uh, oh. Jesus, oh. man. I, I mean, Moses, man. Like, <laughs> it's terrible. Just disappointment in my heart. Deep down. But a little about myself, yeah, like, like I said, I'm, I'm from Israel too, like, but totally atheist. I don't believe in God. But <laughs> I don't know why I get claps for that. But uh, lately I've been thinking, you know, maybe God does exist. But, you know, the reason why he doesn't perform miracles or talk to us anymore is because he's just too busy blessing people that sneeze all the time. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, the Lord of the Supreme Universe and the uh, Creator of Man, um, I don't know if you're busy creating another galaxy or another man somewhere, but uh, Jim just sneezed over there. Could you bless him real quick? <laughs> Maybe he does exist. He just has a backlog of two centuries of people sneezing that he has to go through. So guys, don't be so arrogant. He created us for a reason. Maybe sneezing was a part of his plan. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll let that slide, all right? Just don't, don't, don't bless people that this sneeze. Just let it go. It's totally natural. A little, a little more about myself. I, I do live in Aspen, Colorado right now. It's probably... You always get claps for moving to a city. I don't know why. It, it's... it's one of the richest cities in America. It, it's such a rich city that most of the women there have more plastic in their face than I have in my ski boots. And because yeah, I know you flatlanders don't know, but ski boots are like ten pounds, ninety percent plastics. That's how rich those people are over there. It's like the same type of women that walk their dogs and carry it with their hands. Like, and every time I see that, I want to tell them, excuse me, lady, you know that that dog has twice as many legs as you? Yeah. <laughs> He's like twice as, as, as good as you are at walking. I don't, I don't know why you're carrying your net. But, you know, those people are crazy. Like, as soon as they let their dog go, it's just, just fucking run away from them. Like, they're probably kids did. That's why they're holding it like that all the time. A little bit more. Um, I, I do think um, you guys should. I don't know what your political. Um, I, I do think you need some um, balance in your life. I, I try to do that in uh, in my job. During the winter, um, I teach little kids, three to six year olds, how to ski. And then during the summer, um, I make drugs. <laughs> you always need some balance. Okay. And. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know what your political views are, but um, vote for Donald Trump. What? He, he's right. Look at me. I'm an immigrant, and I make drugs for them. <laughs> okay. Vote for him before I start raping people. Okay? <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys.